Hi there. Welcome back to Seeing the World Through Trifocals. You know, there are a lot of books and YouTube shows about living a long and healthy life. Most of them are boring and ignore the obvious. Whether you die in a young body or in an experienced one, life is to be lived. My favorite motto is life is not a journey to the grave with the intention of arriving safely in a pretty and well-preserved body, but rather to skid in broadside, totally worn out, and proclaiming, wow, what a ride. Now, how do you do that? Well, an apple a day may keep the doctor away, but personal curiosity can sure slow down the grim reaper. Uh oh, don't worry about the saying that curiosity killed the cat. If you're listening to me now, you aren't a cat. And I'll explain where that phrase came from in a few minutes. My husband's hero as he grew up wasn't Superman, but Henry Ford. Henry once said, anyone who stops learning is old, whether he is 20 or 80. And anyone who keeps learning stays young. The greatest thing in life is to keep your mind young. Albert Einstein said, I have no special talents. I'm only passionately curious. Alice told the Mad Hatter when he asked her if he was mad, I'm afraid so. You're entirely bonkers. But I'll tell you a secret. All the best people are. I once saw a poster. I don't know who, who the source of the quote was, but it said, Blessed are the curious, for they shall have adventures. The secret to staying young is to be curious. Learn something new every day and don't be afraid to be adventurous. Maybe I'll never climb the Alps again, but I can live today to the fullest. I can learn a new fact to keep my mind sharp and enjoy each day as if my joints didn't ache and my eyes weren't dim. Stick with me and we'll regularly enjoy a fact snack to challenge our minds and impress our children or our grandchildren. We'll find laughter all around us. For example, I wear what I call statement t-shirts and claim to be a walking billboard. My latest favorite shirt is the one I've got on now. I got it for Christmas and it reads, I'm a multitasker. I can listen, ignore, and forget all at the same time. Also, as we pursue our adventures, We'll learn to again love others, love ourselves, and love God. By the way, the cat that was killed by curiosity was really killed by refusing to go forward. According to an edition of the Washington Post in 1916, a cat belonging to Mrs. Godfrey slipped behind the fireplace screen at her house and climbed the chimney. Although numerous people came to her rescue, the cat refused their help and after three days, fell from the chimney, dead. Let's live, laugh, and love. Not only will your life actually be longer, but the journey will be so much better. Today's fact snack was about Mrs. Godfrey's cat. As I'm prone to say, look out, Lord, here I come. See you next time.